What's happening, E-Crew? Welcome back to the channel. On today's vlog, we're going to be riding and testing our Luna X2 electric mountain bike. So I actually got this on offer up. It was such a good deal. I literally drove two and a half hours, almost three hours for it, uh, all the way in Santa Barbara, basically. Um, it's even like a large frame, maybe a little bit too large for me. Um, but again, I just had to get it. I just had to try it, test it. And um, I've had it already for about a week. Um, but I got injured from, you know, last week's uh, Marshall Canyon ride. Um, my wrist is a little bit sprained. I'm not at 100%. But we're going to be trying out this bike today at our local uh, Turnbull Canyon. We're definitely going to take it easy today because of multiple reasons. One is because it looks like it's going to be a solo ride. Um, two, I'm injured. Uh, three, it's our first time out with this bike. It's a 27 and a half uh, boost wheels. Again, it's a large frame. I took out the dropper post to make it lower for me. It's still a little too tall for me, but again, we're gonna just test it out, take it out in its paces and uh, see what kind of results we get. So it, this bike is a torque sensor um, pedal assist system and I'm only getting like 10 miles per hour going uphill at most. So it's definitely a, a different feeling. Um, electric bike, much more exercising is involved with this type of setup. It's the Bafang M600 mid-drive. You know, I'm so used to the um, BBS-02 and the BBS-HD. So it's a little bit different here. That's all because this is probably a lighter setup. So it's really more into the electric mountain biking uh, world. And it has a better bottom clearance versus the uh, Bafang kit, BBS-02, BBS HD. Um, it's a little bit faster. If I, if I just throttle, I'm getting about 12 miles per hour. So it's a little bit of a boost if I'm just throttling. It's considered rather silent. I don't see it being annoyingly loud. It, it sounds just like the BBS-02 um, in comparison. Um, I do have like the regular controller here. It's not the ludicrous controller that they sell. Um, but yeah, going uphill, I do feel a lot more sluggish, a lot more slower than the uh, compared to my other bikes. I'm curious to see what kind of wattage we're getting. All right, so let's say I'm 90% pedaling and it looks like I'm only getting about 300 watts climbing this hill. Let's see if we just throttle. If we throttle, we get about, you could see in the little speedometer, 490, 500 watts if I'm just straight up throttling. And I'm getting about 13 miles per hour now. What I mean is like the widest tires at 2.8, 2.7, I already forgot. But it's considerably wider than all my other e-bikes or other electric mountain bikes. So we started at 100%. We'll see what kind of uh, battery range we can get for today's quick ride. So this torque sensor system definitely involves human power much more than the other mid-drive kits, the cadence sensor. I'm actually working up a sweat. Man, I don't see how those guys, Rod and Martin, can uh, climb steep hills like this on a 250 watt motor. That's a struggle. Like a, a e-bike to have fun, you know, not to really 
and like uh, I'll exercise here and there, but not as much as those guys. It was a struggle getting up here. All right, this is the true test of the 12 speed gear that we have. This is a steep entrance to the trail. This would be a, a really good test um, of this bike's capabilities. The motor was already somewhat warm. Um, but here we go. Climbing gears are engaged. Let's get it. Come on, Mike. All right. Sweet. Oh man, mind you, I'm throttling as well. Here and there I'm throttling, but all right. That's a good indicator. I feel like I feel like the bike was only um, doing 60 to 70 percent of its capability. It's not struggling at all. And I have the uh, the real thick tires to uh, to think for that. Sweet. All right, let's get onto the uh, downhill portions. We'll complete this test today and uh, hopefully get home safely and maybe do a little bit of jumps, just a little bit, depending on our battery and all that stuff and how our wrist feels, our right wrist took most of the, the beating when I fell on that stupid jump. Uh, everything else is like scuffed up, my elbow, my knees, my hip, but nothing hurts besides this wrist. Everything else is just like a rash. It says I burned 123 calories. I'm not sure if that's accurate, uh, but it also says I have 81%. So that kind of drained 19% already, but that's okay because we're already in the, one of the highest portion of this ride. Most everything is downhill. I don't know if you've seen it. It comes with a DNM Racing Shocks fork, DNM RCP25 uh, Minion downhill uh, tires, and uh, 27 and a half by 2.8 wide. I love this colorway too. I didn't like. I didn't want the black one. I, I really like this metallic, glittery shine when you're up close. It's nice. The one thing is I can't for the life of me find a stand a bike stand for this bike there's no such thing as a kickstand that'll um, mount onto these thick this swing arm right here there's uh haven't seen any in uh amazon and i'm definitely going to change the pedals um, this isn't grippy at all i'm sliding out on these i'll get my one of my mountain bike pedals for this Going over the bumps fairly smoothly. I feel like the fork is on the. I mean, I adjusted it as best as I can. I feel like it's on the um, soft end. I'd rather. I'd want. I'd rather want it um, a little bit stiffer. I feel like it's sensitive or. I'm not sure. It just doesn't feel as stiff. I actually want it stiffer. But so far it's pretty it's pretty smooth. It's a smooth uh, ride. Brakes are good. This is like a massage on my wrist, on my injured wrist here. I feel like the battery rattles a little bit. I never had a chance to actually open it up and inspect it. Maybe like uh, just add a little tape or something to kind of secure it in place. I feel something rattling. First I thought it was a fork, but it sounds more like the battery. All right, so that downhill portion basically tested my brakes and also my off-road grip on my tires. That checks out. That looks like it's good. Now we're gonna test on the single track handling and uh, more fork testing because of the lots of brake bumps here. 
Yeah, these thick tires are just eating up everything. Gotta love it. I've always liked 2.8. 2.6 or 2.8 mountain bike tires if I had preference. It's just that not all my bikes have that um, capability. We're talking about our mountain bikes, by the way. Not our fat tire, Super 73s. Yeah, I could get used to this. Handling, I'm going to, if I decide to keep this bike and not make profit off of it, going to shorten the handlebars. This is way too wide. Feels like over 800 mil. It barely fits in my car. I'm going to change the, uh, the pedals to, to make it grippier. I've already kind of shortened it by removing the dropper post. Oh, there's one other thing is I might do a mullet style. So I might do a 26 um, wheel in the rear. I actually already bought it. I just have to find time to install it. Um, with boost adapter. I think it was 142 mil to kind of make this bike a little bit shorter for my height. Because, again, this is a large frame that I'm trying to make a medium. Uh, medium is my preference. So far, so good. Um, looks like I have a 78% battery. We're approaching the freeway shortly here. Uh, so we'll test the jumping capabilities of this bike, uh, but not so much so that I'm fully sending it, because again, my wrist is not 100%, still sprained. I really shouldn't be biking, <laughs> to be honest, but I bought this bike a week ago, and you know, when you buy something, you just immediately have to test everything, right? To make sure that you have a good purchase. Here we go. First time three-way. Oh God, I missed time that jump. Okay, mini air jump there. Let's go up this. Let's let the momentum do everything. Okay, that's a jump. That was legitimately a jump. That's another jump. Yeah, I really have to check on the battery. I'm a little worried. So much rattling. Oh yeah. Yes sir. All right, make a jump. Feels good jumping, minus the uh, minus the battery rattling. I think. It's just this is the thing I'm hearing. Yeah, that's what it feels like. So maybe I'll I'll tape that up good. Besides that, a pretty solid bike. Twelve gears by SRAM. Um. 40 tooth chain ring here. <laughs> Looks like this motor peaks at 900 watts. So it's a little weaker than the BBSO2 from my experiment here. Uh, but we're gonna do round two going downhill on the freeway because we have a little bit of time. Let's get it. Okay, and jump that. Just getting used to the timing of uh, jumping this bike. Here's a good one. Ew. Ah, smooth. If you jump it right, it's really smooth. Ah, I can't see. Oh yeah, that's a mere time. Oh, yes sir. Send this. Oh yeah, smooth. It lands really smooth if you do it right. Woo! There's a snake. <laughs> Guys, look at that big ass snake. 
It didn't move one bit. Yo. I almost ran, ran its head over. You guys see that? It's not moving one bit. That's crazy. All right, that's gonna be our our conclusion for the uh, for the freeway section today. Saw a tarantula. Now saw a rattlesnake. They're out today. All right, let's go up the Turnbull Tower. Let's call it a day. That was a definitely good experiment testing this bike there for the first time. That definitely ruined my last jump though. Wasn't sure if, I was, if it was still crossing or if it was gonna lunge at me. Definitely broke my uh, concentration. All right, it says 286 calories. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how that calculates. I'm guessing it's when we pedal. Because obviously when we throttle, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna count that. Climbing downhill. This bike roosts a lot. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, so this bike is not fast at all. I think the top speed was like 25, and then uh, max effort is maybe 29. Something along those lines. But it's not really made for that, so I, you know, I think it's made for climbing techie trails and jumping, but it definitely did well for today's uh, experiment. I like it and I recommend it overall, but I've been spoiled with cadence sensor. That's kind of hard to get used to, you know? Like all the climbs are like eight to 10 miles per hour only. Fairly slow. Ah, that's a nice breeze. In about two weeks, when I'm all healed up, I'm gonna be testing this bike at Sky Park again. Um, but that's gonna be in today's vlog, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more content. Check out the useful links in the description below for discounts on your Super 73, Aerial Rider, or a DIY Bafang mid-drive kit. Again, my first impressions on this bike, you will require exercising on this bike because um, it only peaks at 900 watts, and for like steep hills, um, you know, you really gotta use your human power um, for it to climb steep hills. Again, thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next adventure. Peace.